Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, today I have a wax empties, candles empties video for you. So we're just gonna get on with it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the candles that I went through. And I finished a little tiny jar candle of pumpkin souffle. I guess it's about a seven or eight ounce jar, uh, jar candle. Um, I got this one from Douglas, Wyoming. And um, it was great. I loved the scent of this. To me, it's more like a caramel toffee almost scent. I'm not getting a whole lot of pumpkin from this one, but I quite enjoyed it. I did, however, have to stop warming it when I got about down to here because even though I kept trimming the wick, the flame would go clear to the top of the jar. So I had to say, okay, I'm done with this little candle, but I really loved the little candle. Strength and throw on this candle was probably about a seven or an eight in there somewhere. So I quite enjoyed that and I would definitely repurchase again, just basically on scent appeal alone. And I love supporting small business. My daughter um, actually knows the lady personally who makes these candles. So that's kind of nice. Another candle that I went through that I actually used as just a candle that I put in my warmer. I didn't finish all of it. I still have like a little tiny bit left in this little mason jar is um, hot buttered rum. And I picked up this candle last, I guess earlier this winter, uh, probably mid January or so. I think that's when it was from Fred Myers. And this one is great. Um, I, um, I'm glad I chopped it. Scent appeal for me is going to be about an eight. I totally love it. You can smell that, the liquor. You can smell that rum and the buttery notes. It almost smells like, man, I just want to pour this into a mug with, um, I want some hot buttered rum is what I want. I don't know it's like 80 degrees outside, but yet this sounds really, really good. It smells divine and it smells great in my warmer as well, but I just couldn't get a lot of strength and throw out of this one. This one was probably only about a five, so it was kind of a dud, but it worked out okay because while I was warming this in some rooms, I warmed Coffee Tree from Scentsy in another room, and it worked out really great. Um, my husband, who he was, he was home at the time. He's now on a job up in North Dakota. Poor guy, but um, Coffee Tree and this one together while he was home worked out really, really, really well. So um, I like I like the mixture of both of these together. Um, very, very nice. And while I have Coffee Tree in my hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and talk about Coffee Tree. Coffee Tree Strength and Throw on this one, I'm gonna give it about an eight. It was just wonderful. It's just fresh roasted coffee. I love it. It has wonderful appeal to me and scent appeal for me is going to be probably about a 10. I really, really enjoyed Coffee Tree a lot and I definitely would repurchase that one. All right, then moving on, I finished up my jar, my little uh, medium jar candle and I found out that this is actually a soy blend and um, of meadow, is it of uh, meadow sweet avocado? This is really, really nice. I also learned that with soy blends, they can put a lot more fragrance into their candles, and I, I didn't know that either. I actually learned that from the Philly Candle Man, which who I am subscribed to. I really, really enjoy his channel. If, if you're not aware of the Philly Candle Man and you want to learn about candles or you want to learn about new scents, just hop on over to his channel, and, and he'll give you all the information that you need to know about candles. I mean, he's very, very knowledgeable. Um, but here it is, a Metal Sweet Avocado. This one I've already kind of done a scent review on in one of my other videos of my Goose Creek um, candle reviews. So you can go ahead and, and move on over there if you want to watch that. But I will still give you a heads up on this one. It's really green. Um, uh, it's, it's just got some wonderful green leafy, uh, green leaves, metal seats, uh, metal, not metal seed grass, but metal grass, um, ornate woods. Ornate meaning like, um, I want to say a mixture of aspen trees and willow trees, that kind of ornate woods. I really, really, really enjoyed it. It's almost like you can env envision yourself walking through a meadow 
and you can kind of hear the hum of the bugs. You know how they kind of have that sheer sound as you're crossing the meadow in the middle of the heat of the day. And you definitely get the smell coming up from the ground as you're walking through the meadow. And that's exactly what this smells like. I don't know if I would repurchase this again, but I did enjoy the candle. Okay, now I'm going to move on to, I think that's all of my candles. I'm going to move on to car fresheners. I went through a couple of um, my last two little clothespin looking things of um, Yankee Candle um, Sage and Citrus. This one I find very, very appealing. I really, really like this one. And not only did I use these in my car, but I also warmed it. I got a clam of this that I warmed Sage and Citrus. It's very, very nice. Um, these lasted a couple weeks. Um, this had really good strength and throw. I'm going to give this one about a seven for strength and throw though. Maybe um, about that. I really enjoyed it. Um, an appeal for me. I'm going to give it an eight. I really, really enjoyed this one. The scent notes on this one are earthy sage, luxurious towel, and lemon lime. You can definitely get the lemon lime and the talc. I never realized that until I actually looked at the scent notes and the sage. Yes, you guys, it is wonderful. I totally, totally enjoyed this one. I definitely would repurchase that one again. Okay, I think, let's see, I had some, here they are, little, um, I can't think of their names, but here they are, scent circles, scent circles. I went through a Darling Dahlia. Very nice, very floral, very pleasant. I like that one. I went through a cedar, cider. I don't know if I've worn this in bar form yet, but it was very, very nice while it lasted. And then um, apple butter frosting. I, I went through one of those. Very nice. Probably my favorite out of the three. And then some little party testers I went through. I managed to finish up my aloe water and cucumber. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love aloe water and cucumber. It's such a good scent. Such a good scent for Scentsy to have. Um, it is aloe water, cucumber, palm frond, and pineapple nectar. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. I love it. You, you do get all those notes. You get the cucumber, the aloe water. I'm not sure what palm frond smells like. I'm not getting any pineapple nectar. Um, I don't. I don't smell it. So, but I, I truly love these. And as a party tester, even, they even had, so my scent appeal on this one, I'm going to give it about a nine. I really like this. But strength and throw, I wish that it was a little stronger. I'm going to only give it about a seven. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my bags. And I'm going to go ahead and start with Ella after. I think I have a little kind of a mixture. I've got a clam, a bag, and a tart bag from Ella after. I finished Modern Day Pen Pals from Ella After, and this was gifted to me by Miss Cindy back in January. You guys, it's it's pink chiffon and toasted marshmallow. I can get I can get a little bit of that toasted marshmallow. It's really nice. And it's such a beautiful blend with that pink chiffon. I really, really enjoyed this one. Strength and throw on this one that was about a six. I wish it was a little bit stronger, but scent appeal was about an eight to a nine. I totally love this one. And I definitely would repurchase, even though it wasn't, even though it didn't knock me out of the park. Another one that I enjoyed is Paper Bag Princess. This one was nice. This was also gifted to me by Miss Cindy. I wouldn't have purchased this one on my own. I'm not really a pepperminty fan, but the scent notes are pink, sur pink sugar, buttercream, spearmint, and candy canes. And you guys, I think it's the buttercream and the pink sugar that tones it down that makes it so that I really, really, really enjoy the Paper Bag Princess. Um, I really like this one, you guys. Um, appeal, I'm going to give it about a 7. Strength and throw, I'm going to give it about a 7. Okay, and then this is one that I purchased when I was kind of not feeling well about a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, and it is Jabberwocky, and I got this from Ella After, and I actually shared some of this. I shared quite a bit of my Ella After. Um, I kind of sampled some more out to a really good friend of mine that I have in Rexburg, and so she's really excited about Ella After Wax, so she's probably going to be placing the order with them. This scent, though, this is Jabberwocky, you guys. 
This will knock you out of the park. This is beautiful. This is dark vanilla, cedar wood, salty sea air, and central musk. Way to go, Sarah. Sarah is the one that owns um, Ella After. Oh my gosh. I'm in love with this scent. Scent appeal for me is a 10. Strength and throw is a 10. This is a blast. This was so much fun to warm. Even my husband enjoyed it. And even though it's been handled a lot and it's been, you know, taken out, taken in, I'm going to show you one of her little wax molds. And the face is kind of smushed, but it is the Cheshire Cat. Isn't that beautiful? And look at the beautiful blue wax. It's kind of a granite blue. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll try to get as close as I can. But like I said, Mr. Cheshire Cat, he's had his, his face is kind of pushed in a little bit, but that's because he's he's traveled around a little bit. Her wax is wonderful. Her wax is highly scented. Um, her wax is kind of soft and oily. So if you, any of you have ever purchased her wax, you'll know what I mean. I don't mind that at all. I think it's wonderful. I love Jabberwocky. Jabberwocky can very well be my scent pick for the month. Just saying. Just saying. Okay. Moving on. My last little bag of wax, I have the pink sugar type from Crafty Barista. You guys, I have, I've been smelling a lot of the, the different kinds of pink sugar. I really like this one. This one's kind of a dark, musky pink sugar just a little bit. And I quite enjoyed that one. It was actually a little brain. Strength and throw on this one was probably only about a seven, though. But scent appeal to me was about a nine. I really, really, really like this one. And because of, strength, of the appeal for me, I would repurchase this one again. So I love craft, a Crafty Barista Pink Sugar type. All right. Another one that I went through. Let's see. Make sure I got all my clams taken care of. Is the Burning Mitten from... The Murdering Mitten and Lavender Soda. You guys, this is so beautiful. It is beautiful, but yet fun and festive at the same time. It's kind of like you're having a wonderful lemon lime soda at some fancy lady's house. That's what it would be. Um, and it is Lavender and Fizzy Soda. And in her Fizzy Soda is Lavender lemon lime soda, bergamot, and cedar. Now, I'm not getting any of the bergamot or cedar, but it is wonderful. Maybe that's what's bringing that appeal out for me. So I'm going to give this one a big thumbs up. And yes, I would repurchase. Scent appeal is like over the moon. I'm going to say eight. Strength and throw is about a seven. All right, now moving on, we are going to move on to Better Homes and Gardens. And this one is Jasmine and Ylang Ylang. I really enjoyed this one. I don't have the scent notes on this one, but all I can tell you is wonderful. Wonderful. I would definitely repurchase this one again. Scent and peel, scent appeal is number is going to be an eight. Strength and throw is going to be about an eight. I really like this one. This one lasted for about two or three days. Nice. Very, very nice. And then I went through a clam of oak and rye, and the scent is Intrigue. It is wonderful, you guys. Absolutely wonderful. Scent appeal for me is also going to be a 10 for this one. Um, strength and throw is going to be about an 8. I totally love this one. I would definitely repurchase this one again. The only thing that I don't like about this one is that it totally stained up my little glass dishes on my warmers. So you just have to be aware. I don't know what they're using in this one, but it just kind of left kind of a sticky, icky residue that kind of turned brown. And I had to just gently scrub all of that out with a paper towel and some dish soap. Of course, I waited until everything cooled off before I did, but I really, really enjoyed this one. I definitely would repurchase this one. This one does have scent notes of amber. So you have to like amber. I must like amber. Um, to me, I kind of thought it smelled a little bit like Scentsy's Quiver, though. So, and I don't think there's any amber in that one. But I still enjoyed this one just the same. Okay, now I think that is it. Now we're going to move on to Scentsy. Now, I, I don't have it with me. Oh, no, wait a minute. I've got a bar of soup from Supercharts. Here's Hedwig. Sorry. Hedwig, um, 
I wore them through just only two clam, two little cubes from the clam. That's all I could get through because you guys, I have to give this one a thumbs down. I didn't like the smell of it. I was just at the vet clinic today and picking up my cat who, that's just another story, which we're not going to add. But anyway, he's okay. Um, I was picking up my cat and I was sitting there and you know how you sit there in the, in the vet clinic and you get all those smells. You get the animal smells, but to me it smells like B vitamins when you go to the vet clinic. It almost smells like B vitamins or the medicine that's the medicines that are out there that they give all the animals. And that could be anything from a cow to a little cat, you know. But that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Is the vet clinic office smell? I'm serious. It I don't know. I don't know. And I used to work well, I used to work at a vet clinic. I worked at a vet clinic for five years when I was grooming dogs, and this that smell never leaves you. You just always know what that smell is, and that's what <laughs> that's what Hedwig smells like is the vet clinic. That's what it should be called, the vet clinic. It is chai tea, cheesecake, and clove, and I love all of those scents, but dang, it's just not, it's not very appealing. I'm going to give it a thumbs down, but it was, it was pretty strong, though. I mean... Strength and throw is about an eight percent appeal. I'm gonna give it a two. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm really trying here. But anyway, that's Hedwig. Okay, now we're gonna move on to Scentsy, and I'm gonna start with cashmere. Um, actually, no, I'm gonna start with bubble gum. I don't have bubble gum with me. Um, I actually shared the package of bubble gum, and it ended up going bye bye. But I really loved the bring back my bar that they had in was it. July was it July June or July and there was bubble gum and bubble gum was really nice you did get that blast of um, bubble gum but then it kind of mellowed out into this nice creamy vanilla scent and I really really enjoyed it so that was bubble gum and yes I would repurchase strength and throw on that one though was only about a six it could have been stronger but appeal I loved it um, I'm gonna give it about an eight because that's bubble gum okay now moving on to cashmere I love this one. I went through a whole bar plus then some with only left me like a little little cube left. And one was mine. One was gifted from Miss Cindy. I totally enjoyed cashmere. Cashmere is beautiful. In fact, I have the scent notes right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it. Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, and bergamot. Very, very nice. I love cashmere. So nice. Um, strength and throw on cashmere. I'm going to give it about a 7 or an 8. Um, scent appeal for me is about a nine. I really like this one. Okay, moving on. Now we have Hemingway. Hemingway has my heart. Everybody knows Hemingway has my heart, but if you don't know, Hemingway has my heart. Um, it's kind of a spicy, manly apple. It is apple, sandalwood, cedar with hints of spice. It's all of that goodness. In fact, I'm warming it right now. I'm in total. I'm, I'm in total heaven, you guys. In fact, I have it warming in every warmer in my house. Um, every warmer has Hemingway going. Um, scent appeal for me is a 10. Strength and throw is an eight. Um, I love this one. Scentsy has done such a wonderful job with this one. I love this one a lot. Okay, moving on to Welcome Home. I love Welcome Home. What is there not to say about Welcome Home? Um, it's cinnamon and spices. That's what the scent notes are. It was one of the first, one of the first few bars that I purchased when I started purchasing Scentsy. I really enjoyed this one. Strength and throw on this one is about, I'm going to give it about an eight, seven, maybe a seven. Um, scent appeal, I'm going to give it about an eight. I really like Welcome Home. Okay, and then I went through a bar of sugared strawberry. I love sugared strawberry. Um... It's just that wonderful strawberry goodness. You guys, scent notes are strawberries, currants, and lemons. Yes, I I like that. You do get a little bit of the lemon there. I'm not sure about the current. Um, strength and throw on this one. I'm going to give it about a 7 to an 8. Scent appeal for me is 9. A 9. Totally a 9. And let's see. I'm missing a clam here somewhere. Here it is. Okay. Blueberry cheesecake. What can I say about blueberry cheesecake? It's just delicious. It is cheesecake berries, that graham cracker crust. You guys, I love Scentsy's blueberry cheesecake. It's just one of their classic scents that I hope that they never take out of the 
out of our catalog ever. I know they've taken it out of some other regions' catalogs, and I'm just like, dang, why did you do that? So anyway, that is blueberry cheesecake. Now I'm trying to see if I've gone over everything. I'm just checking, whoops, checking my little list really quick, just to make sure I've covered everything. And I do believe that I have. I think that I have covered everything. Now, if I had a favorite, and I do, what would be my favorite? Um, it's Hemingway. I'm just going to say it. It's Hemingway. Yep. And coming, coming in behind it, second place is, where is it, where is it, where is it? Intrigue by Oak and Rye. I love these two. Love them, love them a lot. And third place would have to be Jabber, Jabber Waki. This lovely little chunk of wax right here. So, but number one is Hemingway. Absolutely. Oh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be talking to you soon. I know that I'm forgetting something. But I'll probably remember it after I turn off the video. So anyway, you guys have a great day.